Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Philippe Barreil, and I'm a technical project manager at the City of Paris. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, OW2 for having us once again here to present our solution. So thank you, Cedric, and OW2 team. So um, I'm here to talk about our open source solution, uh, which is called Lutest, uh, made out of the ancient name of Paris. Uh, on top of which the state of Paris that you all know uh, has been built. So um, last year, I've done the presentation of the whole solution. It was very long, very detailed. Uh, so I, I welcome you to uh, see it. Uh, since I won't do the same over and over each year, um, this is just, uh, well, a milestone uh, um, in the roadmap of this of the, the um, of the life of uh, of Lutes, and uh, I'll just um, show you where we've been and where where we are heading. So, for those of you that won't uh, check out my uh, presentation of last year, just real quick, what is it about? Um, so Lutes was developed uh, internally by the city of Paris uh, since 2002 and which represents now more than 2 million line of, lines of code. Um, it is, um, if you have to remember only one thing, a powerful um, city services engine. It provides a, a module platform uh, based on lightweight uh, core features on top of which you can add either on, on shelf um, plugins, or you can develop and integrate your own. Um, it is a solution based on real needs over time and which is constantly evaluating. And it represents now more than 200 city services. Then it is uh, an open source platform uh, for cities made in, uh, in Java. And it enables a quick develop, uh, deployment of the of city services based on st standards. It is secure, also as a GDPR compliant, and it offers solutions uh, commonly needed in a municipal space. Let's face it, uh, municipalities share maybe seventy percent of their needs. Um, so this is what Lutes is all about. It provides a citizen a relationship management uh, that we also reuse internally for our 60,000 uh, civil servants. And uh, provides also, just among others, a powerful workflow engine that enables um, specific actions for our business applications. So obviously it's used uh, for all digital services uh, at the city of Paris. It was firstly released as open source software in 2002. We were the first French public administration to release our source code and to, to open it. And um, it's a quick way actually to develop uh, the elected officials engagement. Uh, that's why I said it was based on real needs. We just don't develop things hoping might be used, but we are told to develop these features for the citizens. Um, we either use them as uh, standard applications or we hack them when there are two specific needs to fulfill. And it's also reused by other cities and companies in France. It was firstly many years ago used by the French weather forecast. And since it was the first uh, most visited website in France, we improved a lot um, thanks to their uh, work. Most of it uh, on load of heavy load managing. The city of Lyon, which is the second city in France, is also using Lutes. It's been voted that um, their next city services would be uh, entirely done in Lutes. Um, and now they also contribute back. We're uh, getting their code and their uh, contributions to our platform. Uh, many other cities in France, uh, we cannot keep track of all of them, uh, but they use it in different many ways. 
Um, last year, we were also uh, in Baltimore to showcase Lutes in a context that I will develop next slide. Um, but now the, the university, Johns Hopkins University based in Baltimore has helped us uh, to implement Lutes for uh, a non-government organization uh, which helps um, to provide services for leftover communities. So how citizens benefit from Lutes? Well, first of all, to make the e-administration easier. Um, it provides a form generator, an appointment plugin system, tax simulator, I won't name them all, there are more than 200. Um, it's easily administrable uh, by non-technical non people. So the CMS, which is just a plugin out of it, um, can be used and uh, fully administrated by non-tech people. Uh, we uh, have in mind that Telos once innovative ID management, uh, which is using France Lutes and based on OpenID Connect. And we have um, a single sign-on enabled in the CRM, C standing for citizen. We're not dealing with customers, but citizens. Um, and we also provide them, the citizens, a centralized citizen dashboard on which uh, they can see their digital administrative procedures at real time. Um, more than making the e-administration easier, it also helps people get involved in the city since it's a, a very important will from Mayor Hidalgo uh, to gather people around real life issues in their city. So we've developed the participatory budget uh, as soon as she, she got uh, the head of city of Paris. Uh, as well as public consultations, streets problems reporting system, etc., etc., and I won't need to convince you that open source is probably the best way to enhance trust between citizens and the administration. So where are we right now? We're uh, a team of two, 12 people inside city government. We're working with contractors uh, that help us uh, develop new features and maintain them. Um, we've also worked a lot with uh, the Bloomberg Associates. I uh, would like to thank them. I won't be able to thank them enough for the help they provide. Um, they've benchmarked uh, the best solutions, uh, digital solutions uh, over the world in the biggest cities in the world. And we're uh, in, in this book. Um, they also provide code reviewing by the LP and the help us translate uh, everything as well as the, um, the user experience. Uh, we're used to dealing with French people. We all know the context is very different uh, in many, many other countries, so they help us a lot doing this. Um, as you probably saw it, I will show you uh, right after. Uh, they help us also rebrand the solution. Since we're in a public administration, there's no um, budget for marketing, selling, talking around our solution. So they're, they are, they're, they're here to help us. Um, and we've also worked with Most Labs, which is a, a, an institute in the US uh, for um, OS positioning and consulting. We're trying our best. Uh, as I told you, with low and decreasing budget, um, to aware better of the solution more broadly. So uh, we're a member uh, of the OW2 consortium and uh, of many French asso FOSS associations. Um, many awards won, uh, I won't name them all. We were featured at Johns Hopkins University for a hackathon uh, organized last fall. Uh, for its first time civic track, so we had a, a very technical um, workshop there uh, to help the students develop on Lutes. And we'll, there's a f will to, to be more present at forums, conventions. But where are we heading? We're heading to enlarge our community. So we're trying our best to attract passionate developers uh, to contribute and hence and build a sustainable uh, development community. Um, 
we have a will uh, to be part of other communities, communicate better, share our best practices. And we also try to have more pilots and adoption within the cities or administration or government everywhere. And maybe next step will be a SAS model. We'll see. Thank you very much for your attention.